Well, hello there. It is day 25 on the goose, on the goose eggs. I had to move this incubator down to the floor even though I don't like it here um, because I needed to make room for my essential oil still, which my laundry room has become my little workshop. But what are you gonna do? I need my little workshop. <laughs> I find myself lots of things to do because um, my husband has a job that requires him to travel so um, so I keep very busy and sometimes he's here and I still keep busy okay so um, filling up both of these all the way full geese and ducks need a higher humidity and chickens and this still isn't even going to cut it so I'm going to show you what I'm going to do um, and the geese also I like to um, start their their lockdown um, maybe like a half a day earlier than chickens because they have such long necks that um, it's hard for them to get situated so this is increasing surface area these paper towels. I'm going to show you. They're going to they're going to wick up moisture, like like they are right now, and they are going to increase all the surface area. And once they're fully wet, I'm going to fill up the little um, things again. Okay. While that's happening, I can give one last candling. I hope this little light goes off. This is my homemade incubator over here that I kind of turned it into an oven style to uh, put the uh, water in and keep the water warm. It doesn't have any eggs right now because I sure do have enough incubators with eggs in them right now. <laughs> okay, here we go. It's a full egg. You see that nice vein right there? See how big the air cell's gotten? I saw it move. I saw a little baby move. Okay, I want to put them... See how this air cell is dipping down on the side? I'm going to put them that side up because I think they hatch better that way. Okay, let's check the other one. This one's moving too. I can see little flutters. There's not much to see on movement uh, right now, but oh, there's a lot right there. There's a lot of movement right there. Okay, so let's put this little egg in here. This is day 25, folks. Almost ready to go. This one might even hatch first. This one is starting to poke at the membrane. It wants to come out. Let's put that one in there. Try to get this done as quickly as possible in case any of them are maybe thinking they want to hatch early. Um, I don't see any internal pips. There is a video that I posted last year that does show an internal pip. An internal pip is when you see that the um, the goose has broken through the inner membrane layer and is getting ready to hatch. And I will not be filming that again. That was a one-time thing. I'm not filming it. I'm sorry. I already filmed it once. It really compromises the hatch and I probably shouldn't have done it, but that, that little bird hatched okay. That was my pipper who I love dearly and uh, I lost her to uh, sickness. My poor baby. Um, but, or, or we think she may have eaten a poisonous plant. Okay, this one's moving. They all look so great and healthy. I'm so happy. Geese are very hard to hatch. They're easy to incubate. If you know what you're doing and if you keep the humidity right and turn them appropriately, they're fairly easy to incubate. But they are hard to hatch. So, um... Even though they're all healthy and alive and doing well, I will consider myself to be extremely blessed if half of them hatch, okay?
Now, if they all hatched, then... Oh, this one may have internal pipped. You see that? I'm not sure if it's uh, the membrane moving or if that's an internal pip. But either way, i got to get the lid on this and um, let them just sit in their high humidity. I'm gonna, I sprayed them down before the candling so that their humidity would remain high. I'm going to uh, spray them again here. They're all, um, you know, air cell up. So, we're back over to the incubator. You can see there's lots of moisture in there now. This is going to be um, very nice and wet. So, let me actually get a little bit more water. And then also, um, running my dryer, I have a humidifier, and also uh, the running of this essential oil still that I'm running in the same room is all going to increase relative room humidity. I'm going to take out the rails, too. These are the rails separating the eggs for turning so that they don't kind of bonk and crash each other. I'm going to take them out because we're not turning anymore. Okay, and I'm going to put them gently in there. Come on. Come on, babies. Okay. Oh, boy. And it's goose time in three days, hopefully. Hopefully we get some hatchers. Goody, goody, goody. All right. Now all I can do is wait <laughs> patiently for little peeps and pips and, and birds. Okay, bye-bye.